Good morning, everybody. Dimity here with our first stride into the summer circuit. Very exciting, very exciting, because you guys are already like killing it on that first day. Very cool. And then I know I'm a little bit uh, late for the East Coasters. So um, you have already been Googling some of these moves and already done the circuit, which is great. So major kudos for being so proactive and being so motivated. It's very fun to see. Okay, so today we've got six moves and um, we are going to do each for one minute and then we're going to take a small break, grab a sip of water and then do that same six moves again. Um, and so the one minute is we picked because um, it is not, an, uh, it's not reps, right? It's not like, oh, you got to do 20 push-ups or you got to do this or that. What we really want you concentrating on is good form throughout the thing. And I'll show you a couple modifications for some of the moves if you need them. Um, so in case you're unable to complete them, you know, there's different levels. We'll meet yourself where you are and we'll have a great morning. So we are going to start with squats. I have my little cheat sheet right here. Um, and squats are pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but we're just going to go up and down. Okay. Um, a couple few things is you want to kind of keep your gaze up. We're not looking down at our toes. We're looking up. And if you can think about sitting back in a chair instead of like putting your knees forward, think about got a chair behind me you could even get this handy drum stool right here um, even put it right behind you tap down come back up okay all right so we are let me get my watch set here um, and we will get going hold on one second all right on your mark are you ready <laughs> go all right so we're gonna go for one minute um, keeping your knees kind of in line, we're not letting them buckle in and we're not letting them bow, bow out, bow out, I guess bow out maybe. And we're looking up or forward at least, we're not looking at the birds in the sky. Nice job. And we're 30 seconds in, so that's halfway. So if you need to take a break, catch your breath, Reset, all good. This is your stride is all about meeting yourself where you are at, right? So it's not a comparison game. There's no race at the end. We're all just moving forward and getting a little stronger each day, okay? All right, that's a minute. Nice work. Okay, started with an easier one because you guys are gonna hate me for this one. It's the bear crawl, or the bear walk, bear crawl, whatever. Um, and basically, it is hard, people who have Googled it, it's challenging. Um, what you do, get on your hands and knees, keeping a straight back, pull your knees a couple inches off the floor, and move forward, um, opposite arm and leg, and then backwards, doing the same thing, okay? so. My arms get tired doing this, just so you know. So that's one thing. Another thing is if moving is too much right now, just hang here with your knees a couple inches off the floor, okay? For as long as you can, take a break, come back up, okay? If moving forward is your best and moving backward is hard, then um, you know move forward and then work on going backwards a little bit more um, in the next one. So but again, it's all about what you feel like doing. Um, okay, we're going to go in three, two, one, go. So I'm going to, because I'm here, I'm going to go backwards first. So again, you're doing opposite arm and leg, hand and leg, foot and hand, I guess. Um, and it's, it requires some coordination and thinking, which I like and don't like at the same time. And if you have like, if you're in a gym right now by any chance, you know, go about... 10, 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. Kind of like Paula Abdul back in the day, right? <laughs> Good work. Keeping your butt down, back straight, opposite arms and limbs, back again. Good job. We got about 10 seconds left, ladies.
Nice. Good job. So that's the bear crawl. We're going to keep doing that. It's just a really good exercise for overall athleticism and coordination, which sometimes running doesn't require much, which is why I know I'm drawn to it. But that doesn't mean you don't have to work on it sometimes. Okay, TVA march. This is kind of a Pilates slash pre, uh, rehab mainstay. You're going to lie on your back, okay? So the first position, I want your feet on the floor to start with. And what you're going to do is glue your lower spine, spine to the floor. Okay, that might be, if you're familiar with it, you'll do a pelvic tilt and get your lower back in the floor, okay? It stays that way. That is how we got to keep it. You got to keep breathing, but we want to keep your back kissing the floor, okay? Then the march part, if this is all you can do, awesome, stay here for a minute. Otherwise, you can march like this, one foot up, one foot up. Again, my back and my core is super stable. It's not moving, okay? That's the march. Or if that is um, not quite challenging enough for you, start with your feet at 90 and touch one foot down and the other foot down, okay? But, but the key is, is that if you do this with your back up, with your back arched, you're not getting anything. So it's really, that's, this is what we're concentrating on right here, okay? And we're gonna go in three, two, one. And I'm gonna go here because I've been doing these for quite some time, <laughs> and they still are hard. Um, but yeah, and again, I'm really thinking about how engaged my TVA, that muscle that wraps, that lies, well, um, it's the lowest core muscle. It's the one that kind of wraps around you like a girdle, like a pair of good spanks. And that is what's pushing, it's engaged, and it's keeping my back down into the ground, okay? But if you're just hanging, and you can also just hang here. I mean, this is definitely challenging, just hanging out in this position as well. Okay, we got 15 seconds, and we're marching. Nice work. Two, one. Good job. Okay, the glute bridge. We're just gonna stay in this position, okay? Stay down here. Glute bridge. Um, I like to put my palms up and play the ukulele. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, put my palms up instead of down because if you down, you can kind of claw into the floor. So this makes sure that you don't um, have that ability. And what you're gonna do, feet kind of hip width apart and just up and down, okay? Squeezing those glutes as you come up and coming straight down. So this is not a Pilates bridge where you're rolling up slowly vertebrae by vertebrae. This is straight up, my glutes are powering me up and they're coming back down, okay? We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Palms up. Palms up, butts up, right? And this is another one that I do very, very regularly. This one gets a lot easier, but um, it's just a good way to um, engage your glutes, get them kind of fired up, get them ready for running. So it's a good one to do before you head out for a run um, or just a good overall, you know, make sure they're turned on, they're alive back there. They're alive. Um, the other thing you can do with your arms, if you want, if you're feeling strong, put them above you. But again, you know, I mostly do them like this, giving myself a nice shoulder platform to work from. And I'm squeezing my glutes each time. And slowly coming down, letting them release. And that's a minute. That one goes quickly. <laughs> awesome. Okay, um, push-ups. So you've got a couple options for push-ups. Um, I just want to show you in case your push-ups are needing a little help, um, or not help, but you're on stage one. A wall. A wall is a really good idea. You want to be nice and lined up straightly. And with push-ups here, we like to come right back, keeping your elbows close to you. Okay, we're not going... Okay, 
okay? That puts a lot of stress on your shoulder joints, and this is just a much more compact, um, strong movement that gets the chest muscles and the arm muscles more, okay? So that's option one. Option two is to do them on your knees, and then option three, as I screw, as I make you a little dizzy, is to do them on your toes, okay? Um, I'm on my knees, okay? And um, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Okay, so again, my arms are coming, my elbows are coming back. I'm not, I'm tucking my arms in kind of close to my sides. I'm not chicken winging out, okay? Again, the, you know, there's nothing really wrong with that kind of push-up other than it puts a lot of st stress on your shoulder joints. And this is a more compact movement. And over time, you're going to feel it more in your arms today, but over time it's going to get, I feel like it gets my chest a little bit more effectively. Okay. Good job. We got 20 more seconds. Less than 10. We're going to do three more push-ups. Here we go. Here's one. Two, three. Nice work. Okay. Um, okay, and so then here is our last move for this circuit. So single leg balance, and it feels pretty basic, but honestly, um, what is running? It's standing on one leg, supporting your weight, and staying balanced so that you don't dip your hip, you don't cock your neck one way. You know, it's really trying to stay, get as much Get your posture as good as you can, as solid as you can, I should say, as good as you can, um, on one foot. And we've got the flamingo circuit coming up in a couple weeks, which is a lot of one-legged moves. So I just wanted to kind of get you guys warmed up by just standing on one foot, okay? Standing on one foot with good posture. That means your shoulders back, your hips even, your gaze forward. Let's stand here for 30 seconds. Go right here, okay? Um, some variations on this, if this is, you know, like, oh my gosh, mom, that's so easy, um, is closing your eyes, okay? And you close your eyes and do this. Luckily, I have high ceilings, or low ceilings, and I'm tall, so I, I'm not great at closing my eyes. So you're going to want to have a chair or a wall close by if you're going to close your eyes. Um, you can do a little bend in one knee to kind of mimic the motion of running. Not a huge bend, just a little one, okay? That's one, that's 30 seconds on one side. Now test the other foot um, and see how that feels, okay? It's probably gonna feel different. One side is gonna have a lot more balance, the other side is gonna be a little bit wobblier. More wobbly, I guess, would be the correct English there. Okay, we got 15 seconds on this foot. Again, if you wanna try to close your eyes for a little bit, see how that feels. Oh yeah, hard, hard for me. Um, this is something you guys can work on when you're brushing your teeth, when you're standing in the line at the grocery store, people around you think you're a little weird, but it's just, it's a good, there's nothing, no harm can come from standing on one foot and just trying to balance better. So um, now we're gonna go back and do the exact same thing all the way through, okay? This time I won't have as much explanation. All right, so we're gonna go in three, two, Oh, sorry, I said you could have a sip of water. Take your water. <laughs> Getting too excited for you guys. Okay. Got your water. Got a break. We're going to go in three, two, one. Go with our squats. Here we go. So here's my little tip for you if you're wondering why I'm wearing bike shorts. <laughs> the lovely chamois, um, because I need to go for a bike ride today. Or I should say I would like to, but I also need to. And um, if you work from home like I do or have a flexible situation where you, you, know, you don't have to show up in a conference meeting room, I find that putting my workout clothes on, even if I'm, I'll probably ride about uh, 10.30 today my time, um, it's helpful, right? It eliminates a step for getting ready and it kind of 
forces the issue, right? It's harder for me to weasel out when I'm like, you've been wearing your bike <laughs> shorts all morning at your desk, Bimini. Now you're just gonna go change and put on jeans? No, not okay. So, all right, five more seconds. Let's do two more squats. One, two. All right, your favorite bear crawls. Here we go. Again, meet yourself where you're at. If you're just hanging out above your knees, hovering, that's fine. If you're moving only forward, that's fine. In three, two, one, go. Nice work. And we're not taking huge steps. You probably figured that out by now, but this is not, you know, bear lunges. This is tiny steps. And if you happen to be coming to the Ogden Retreat this weekend, you'll be really good. You could probably demonstrate for us. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, here we go. Going back again. And 15 seconds left. Nice work. We'll go right into the TVA march. So lie on your back. Lie on your back that is nice and making great contact with the floor. We're going in three, two, one, go. It's okay if you're breathing a little hard like I am from the bear crawls. It's good conditioning. Nice work. Again, if this is, you can hang here, you can have your feet on the floor, come up, either one. Or you can just hang here in that pelvic tilt, coming back and forth. Okay, there's no wrong way to do it. The only way is if you're not um, gluing your back to the floor, gauging your abs. Nice work. You got 15 seconds. All right, let's hit that glute bridge. Palms up in three, two, 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 one, go. Um, the other thing you can do with this is you can hang up here and just be squeeze your buttons and then come back down. Okay, you don't have to just, it's not a, it's not a motion about um, how fast you can go, it's really about activation, right? So if you wanna hang up here for a little bit, you can. Good job. So, um, cross training, so you guys know what I'm gonna do today. I'm riding my bike in a little bit. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so I'm going in the morning. Um, but you can walk, you can ride an elliptical, you could ride a bike at the gym, you could go to a strength training class at the gym if you wanted to on top of this. That would be woohoo, total bailer points. That's done, sorry, we were five seconds extra. Um, you could swim, anything that's low impact, that isn't gonna um, jolt your joints, right? Because um, running is pretty high impact, and especially if you're coming back to it after a while, wanna make sure that you're not doing too much. All right, but we are not, we can never do too many push-ups. We're going in three, two, one, go. And these never get easier. Hate that. I've been, I will say I'm better on my toes than I used to be after doing knee push-ups for a while, but still a little rough. So I hang on my knees for a minute. 
Nice work. Halfway done. Nice job. Elbows are going back. Curse words are coming out of your mouth at me. It's all good. Five seconds left, guys. Let's do two more. One, two. Woo. Okay, good work. Last one, easier, is our lovely one-legged balance, correct? Yes, okay. So start with the leg that you didn't start on last time and just hang out there. I'll, I'll time us if you want to try to close your eyes for 30 seconds, go. And we've got, um, you might be hearing the punching balloon going upstairs. That's from a birthday party the other day. Uh, what do we have left of school? What is today? Wednesday. Eight days left. Going into finals week next week for the high schoolers. And like basically like field trip week <laughs> for the sixth graders. All right, five seconds left on this foot. Again, how solid can you be? Can you spread out your toes? Can you dig in? All right, other leg. And here we go. Two, one, go. Think about um, distributing the weight through the ball of your foot, through your heel, equally distributed. Do not, um, you know, I'm no yoga instructor, but just try to think about not being a, having it be in one part of your foot, but all across your whole foot. So it's all helping, it's all playing some, some teamwork. Foot has some teamwork. All right, in three, two, one. Great job, ladies. You guys rocked it. Wasn't expecting any less. We will see you on the Facebook page um, and have a great cross training session if you can squeeze it in today. Otherwise, um, great job getting this one done and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day, bye.